Tokyo on Miyoji is Moonchime Studios' first BL translation and the company's biggest license so far. While their previous Jose Muke games, I Love You and Dear Frankenstein, are very neat projects, Tokyo on Miyoji is a name that can easily be recognized by boys' love fans who are deep into the genre. It was developed by Holic Works' Tyrant brand and even received a Vita release in Japan. In an alternate version of post-World War II Japan, mysterious incidents often happen, and many of those are related to supernatural creatures known as Ayakashi. Tokyo on Miyoji tells the story of Rei Tengen Jibashi, a young man who works as a simple on Miyoji in these trying modern times. Along with his Shikigami Basara, he has to deal with many incidents on a daily basis. While on Miyoji is a recognized job, the nature of their profession is still held under scrutiny by some people who believe them to be con men. Their traditions also seem to be growing too old to attract newcomers, making these people either too strict due to their beliefs or some sort of oddballs. Through the lens of Rei, we get to see the vibrant Tokyo City, an area where various groups gather and mingle. One interesting aspect of the game is its division into cases rather than chapters. The player can pick which Ayakashi cases to pursue, leading to Rei getting some points with one of his potential lovers. These guys represent different sides of Tokyo's cultural salad bowl, and it's easy to see which cases are related to them due to the comments on the right side of the interface. The love interests include Basara, Kamiyosaki, Yotsuya, and Meguro. As mentioned before, Basara is Rei's Shikigami and the one who's most loyal to his master. He tends to act silly and has a lot of energy. Sometimes we get to see him in a long paper form with an annoying high pitch. It's also fun to notice how much he trusts his master since, unlike other Onmyoji, Rei doesn't favor humans in his interactions with Ayakashi. Kamiyosaki is another Onmyoji and a longtime friend of Rei. However, his life as a rich boy is practically a completely different reality. While while Rei has to stick to a very humble life in the old traditions, Kamiyosaki has all sorts of expensive paper talismans and is a TV celebrity. He's very popular and charismatic, and his easygoing, seemingly carefree personality is part of his charm. Yotsuya is an Ayakashi, but he isn't just any regular run-of-the-mill spirit. He is the Haori, the grand leader of his clan, commanding all the Yotsuya Ayakashi and overseeing their actions thoroughly. He's a sly individual who occasionally lends a hand to Rei, but demands something in return. Likewise, he isn't the kind to forget the favors of others. Last but not least, we have the sinister Meguro, a novice on Miyoji who uses firearms and shows his aggressive behavior when dealing with the Ayakashi. He has his reasons for being so cruel, which he keeps to himself, but I wouldn't say they're enough to justify his actions. Regardless, that's exactly what makes his route interesting, as we learn more about his backstory while his relationship with Rei tends to have a lot of friction. All characters offer engaging views of the colorful world of Tokyo on Miyoji. It's a unique setting and the presentation through cases allows for a non-linear approach to the story. It's also interesting to notice that player choice can lead to some abrupt endings, a fair reminder that the cases Rei has to deal with can be life threat. Nonetheless, this division of the story into cases also makes the whole experience feel a little disjointed. Even after completing the story, I felt like the game underdeveloped many relevant plot points and pieces of character information. I'm not so fond of the characters' faces, as I feel like they go a little off model with each expression in CGs. The UI also feels a bit boring for being too simple, though it is a neat reference to Rei's scroll. However, it's undeniable that Tokyo on Miyoji has impressive direction for the confrontations with Ayakashi. Not only does it offer visual effects, but also impressively dynamic animations in some cases. Tokyo on Miyoji is an enjoyable addition to the English translated BL catalog. While the story could have used some further fleshing out, its unique case based structure and intriguing representation of the intermingling of Ayakashi and human culture makes it a worthy read. Noisy Pixel is giving Tokyo on Miyoji the tale of Rei Tengen Jibashi a 7.5 out of 10. Thanks for watching. Please be sure to check out the full review at noisypixel.net. Noisy Pixel is run by a group of gamers who work hard to deliver news, reviews, previews, and more. Please subscribe to keep up with all our future content. Noisy pixel.